Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to the show. This is Andy Kai Media. We are your hosts, Emotion Tubiano. I'm Taylor Vera. And to, in this episode, we're going to give our take on the trailer for Miss Marvel. Uh, I know we did an episode on She-Hulk, and I said this is the newest, but apparently this is the newest, or it's going to be the, the most, most, or the one the coming next, out. Right, the yeah. next um, show, limited series, TV shows, whatever. Uh, that comes out on Disney Plus. Uh, this one comes out on June eighth, whereas She Hulk comes out on August seventeenth. So this will be the next uh, Marvel show to to premiere. Uh, it's called Miss Marvel, and it's based off of a character that we've actually seen before. If you've played the Avengers video game, uh, a character named Kamala Khan, and uh, this she, I guess she's also known as Miss Marvel in the comics. So. They're making a show about her. Um, yeah. If you guys played the video game, I mean, I don't know, at least my, for me, I I did not like this character in the video nope. game. I, I hated her so much. Yeah, I did not like her. In fact, the beginning of the video game, you have to play the proverbial introduction or the, you know, the... Yeah, the tutorial. The tutorial of the game, which is fine. I mean, it, it, it's in every game, but... The tutorial is all her. You play as her the entire tutorial, and you don't get to play as any of the other Avengers until you finish the tutorial. And I remember talking to one of our friends as we were playing it, and I was like, dude, I don't want to play this game anymore because I have to play as Kamala Khan, and it's so dumb. Like, I did not like her at all during the, the video game. So, uh, I don't know. Maybe a live-action version of her will be different, but... I will admit that I am going into this with some uh, pre-existing reservations just because I played the video game. So, uh, I don't know, maybe my take isn't as fair as a lot of other people's that are seeing this character for the first time. Uh, But, yeah, I don't know, man. I'm not, not not too excited about this one. So, yeah, my introduction to this character is the same as you is from the Avengers video game. Hater in the game, like just awful. Yeah, super cringy. Super Don't know why cringy. she was like thrown in there. Um, but I will say this trailer is a lot better than She Hulk is. Yeah, I do agree that like I'm less excited about She Hulk than I am this. Uh, maybe purely because this one visually looks better. Yeah, the CG looks better. The potential story that they they could tell looks better. Um, I again, I, th- this is another one of like I don't want to call it inclusivity because I don't know if they're actually if that's actually their intention, but this is a, a Middle Eastern character, right? Her, she's she's um Middle Eastern and uh, it's a Middle Eastern story, so it takes place here in the U.S., but uh, I don't know, I mean, maybe it'll be good, maybe it won't, uh. I'm a little confused by just watching the trailer and what I know from the game. I, I get that they're not trying to tell the exact same story that they told in the game, right? But, um, like, the way that she got her powers or what it shows she got her powers versus the game is different. And uh, I don't know. But one question I do have is, do you think it's going to have, like, the little captions above their heads and stuff, the whole movie? So or not the whole there's something I wanted to point out in the beginning of this trailer. This is actually kind of why I liked it, but it changes. So in the beginning of this trailer, it gives off a Scott Pilgrim versus yes, the World vibe, that's exactly which is a what great I was movie. Thinking. I love that movie. But I, I don't think that's what this is really going to be focused on. I think that they were just doing that during like the high school thing. Mm. Um, but if it is like that, I think that's going to be cool, and I would enjoy that. As long as they don't overdo it, like Scott Pilgrim versus the World to me had the perfect amount. It was it was enough that there it was cool and it gave you the video game comic vibe, but it wasn't so much. Well, because that that's was, how that's what that story was. Yeah. It, that's what life was a video game essentially. Right. But this is just kind of like a comic book, yeah. like feel to it. So I don't know. Uh, we'll see what she they does, do with it. She does have way more powers in this that are way more than in the video game, though. Yeah, because in the game she's just a. She just, Great value, Mr. Fantastic. You know, that's exactly, what, <laughs> that's that's, really that's bad. exactly my thought. She literally, she just can just make her hands super big and her feet super big. And like, she's rubber basically. But in this, she can create force fields. She actually and, has like Captain Marvel kind yeah. of powers. 
which uh, our producer mentioned to us before we started the episode that what is the newest or the next Captain Marvel movie supposed to be called? It's called The Marvels. The Marvels. Uh, so it's supposed to involve Captain Marvel, Miss Marvel, and then also, uh, what is her name? Monica. Monica Rambeau from Scarlet Witch, the TV show. Uh, so I think you were you were correct in saying that Marvel is creating an MCU. <laughs> well, didn't they didn't they announce it a long a while oh, back that they're basically kind of like replacing all of the characters that we already have and doing like a female? Oh, I know that they're thing. they're creating a new set of characters, a new set of proverbial Avengers, but I never I never heard anything about it being specifically being female led. Oh, I feel like they did. I could oh, be wrong. I mean, I I could be wrong too. I, I may have just missed that, but um, I don't know. I. I'm probably gonna watch this one for sure. Uh, this one, I, I, I'm actually interested in watching. Just, to, I just want to know if it's if they're just taking the character from the game or if they're actually fleshing it out, making it different. I, but to me, I actually got a lot of Spider-Man vibes from this trailer. Yeah, I can see uh, that. a lot of like you know high school neighborhood superhero kind of vibes. Um, so I'm, I'm kind of for that. Uh, I don't know. We'll see. I'm more excited about this than I am She Hope, but I'm still, li- still apprehensive. Have some rev- reservations just purely off of my previous experience with her from the video game. So, yeah. I mean, I'm still not like that interested in the character, but this looks better than She yeah. Hope so far. So, we'll see. I don't know. Could be, could be pretty good. Um, but maybe not. Might just flop. <laughs> yeah, this <laughs> might be another might just... another Marvel yeah. show that doesn't work. We I don't know. We'll see. I just hope it's not like I just hope they're not just doing the six episode thing. I, I feel like with the with the I don't want to call it a failure, but the the uh, underwhelming result of Moon Knight, I feel like they need to reevaluate their whole uh, series structure. I. I don't know if it's a money thing. Like I, they don't have the money. I don't to, think. But it, to I, me, it wasn't just Moon Knight. It's literally like I'm not. Well, a lot I, I haven't been that. into the, like literally every single show that they've come out with since like Loki. Basically, isn't that the first one that they made? Mm, no, Division was first. Oh, Wanda then Loki. Okay, so no, <laughs> was it WandaVision, um Falcon? Was oh yeah, Falcon that's right. Between but I actually did and like Loki? Uh, um, Falcon and the I Winter loved Soldier. Loki. And then after Loki, there's something else, wasn't there? What if? What if? But that's not. Really I mean, that's not really the same thing, though. But no, it's not. It's just a side. Spin-off. I don't know. I'm just hoping that they realize that maybe they need to extend the amount of episodes in order to actually create what they want to create with these shows. So, or just get well, better storytelling. Falcon, I don't Falcon know. Falcon and the Winter Soldier wasn't that long, and I thought that it's, was actually really good. Yeah. So I guess maybe. There's two ways you could go about doing it, right? You could either tailor back the story and just tell the story that can fit in six episodes, or if you want to tell this bigger, broader, more developed story, then extend the amount of episodes that you have to work with. So, I don't know. We'll see what they do. Is there a uh, announced amount of episodes for this series? Uh, Mr. Producer Man? No. No, there's nothing. Uh, yeah. IMDb that just has one season. Okay. I wouldn't um, expect a whole lot. I mean, I, actually, it does. It says six. Six episodes. Oh, yeah. Okay, another short one. Yeah, I don't know. We'll see. Um, I guess that makes sense because they're obviously not going to have two shows going at once, right? So, if if She Hulk comes out August seventeenth, this has got to be done before then. So. Yeah. And it starts in middle of June, so. All right, well, we'll see what happens with it. I'll probably watch it. We'll probably do initial reactions on it, uh, and then depending on how it goes, we'll do a final reaction. But let us know if we miss anything from the trailer. Uh, Let us know if you guys have a different take on this character or if you're excited about it. Uh, I think it's cool to see a Middle Eastern character, but we'll see if it's any different than the Kamal Khan we got from the, the video game. So thanks for being here. Thanks for checking us out. Got a lot of trailer reactions coming your way, so stay tuned. Let us know what you think. Please comment, like, subscribe, and we'll catch you guys in the next one. Bye, guys.